Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. We have the Six of Wands. We have Hiding Feelings. Mm. We have Lover, the Lovers. So Gemini Energy. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the two of the Ten of Cups. Somebody is seeing you as the end all be all. Yeah, somebody is viewing you as very abundant and confident and very stable and that you got your shit together. I was also hearing a lot of you guys are gonna be having um a lot of success um in career or in business, okay? Um, but somebody is viewing you as their they feel like they can have a happy union with you, like they're happily ever after. Satisfaction, harmony. Tell me about the six of wands. The, see, I'm telling you, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. This could have nothing to even do with another person. This could just be you guys being in a very good place within yourselves. Like your money's looking good. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're having a lot of success. You're achieving a lot of things. You're accomplishing a lot. Um, you have wish fulfillment coming in. Like everything that you've been trying to achieve or have success in, like it's coming in. But with this hiding feelings, let's see here somebody's watching you somebody's keeping tabs on you or they're curious about you they're trying to get information on you this is somebody that's feeling very insecure at this time and they're this person has a hard time opening up and being vulnerable they've been hiding their feelings and emotions from you so they've been wearing a mask but this is definitely obviously this is a twin flame reading this is somebody that you do have a twin flame connection with or a deep connection with um but we have the five of wands here so what why is the five of wands here so we have the high priestess. Somebody is having a hard time listening to their intuition when it comes to this connection. All right. Like this, there is obvious, somebody feels the connection, but when it comes to, you could be dealing with a person that is very surface level or they're very logical. So this type of connection doesn't make sense to them. Okay. It's making them feel very confused or conflicted. Yeah. Healing. So we have accepting to grow. Yeah. Someone's having a hard time accepting this connection. Um, what about healing though? Hierophant. Somebody wants to heal this connection, but to heal this connection, someone's going to have to heal. If somebody wants a commitment with you, if they want this spiritual love or to even be able to understand the spiritual connection or to surrender to it, someone is going to have to heal here and, you know, accept like that they have to grow up. They have to grow. Tell me more. You have Taurus energy here. Seven of, I told you, someone's confused. Seven of Cups. The Eight of Swords. Definitely heavily confused, guys. Like, Somebody is extremely conflicted here. They can even be fighting about this connection with somebody or this could just be an inner conflict that somebody is having. It definitely looks inner, to be honest with you. Somebody is very confused. They feel like they have a, or, yeah. They're really stuck up in their head about this. Why is that? Tell me more. We have wishing. They're doing a lot of reminiscing on the things that have occurred between the two of you, but they're, they're, they're wishing and hoping for you. They're like in this yearning energy for you, but they're not taking any action. They want to be able to work on something with you, but what's the problem? King of Swords. I see. I knew it was going to be an air sign coming out because when I was getting that logical energy, especially, you know, the lovers is Gemini energy, which is air, but I was already getting that it could be an air sign. Okay. See, someone's been trying to like resist their desire for you, resist coming towards you. Trying to resist the temp temptation to come towards you. But what is it? What about this King of Swords? So now we have the King of Cups. Why is this person trying to pretend like they're cold and that they're detached and that they don't have feelings when this person actually is very much desiring you? This King of Swords, this, this King of Cups is posing, like I said, wearing a mask. Someone is hiding behind this King of Swords exterior. When they're actually feel like the king of like they are the king of cups for you. Like they have a lot of emotions for you. They have a lot of love for you. But if, if you guys, under, if you are familiar with the king of cups, the king of cups has a lot of emotions, but sometimes they don't show them. So this is somebody that's trying to portray themselves as the king of swords, but they're actually the king of cups for you. They have a lot of love and emotions for you. And they do desire to have a union with you. So spirit told me, yeah, awakening. This is somebody that's awakening. Didn't I say surrendering? Yeah. This person's awakening to this connection. Ace of Wands, yeah. But this is, they've been very resistant to change. So tell me, Spirit, what is, hold, what's the hold up here? If this person, why is this person still hiding or, yeah, to a source indecisiveness? 
So this person may have a choice to make. What is this choice? The two of swords. Um, it's honestly, guys, what it is is that you are, you know, twin flames mirror each other, or you know, they're showing you things that you need to work on. They're showing you think you're showing them things they need to work on, and this person is not really. They see it. You've shown it to them, but I feel like this person is having a hard time accepting that about themselves. Or there are certain things that this person needs to change or remove, alter in their life or within themselves or in, yeah, the way that they live their life. And I feel they've just, this connection is calling for them to go within and to really face some things. And I feel like this person has not wanted to do that. They haven't made up the decision about this, but we have cannot be trusted. What about cannot be trusted? Queen of Wands. Ooh. So this person maybe has another energy around them. Tell me about the Queen of Wands before I say what I'm going to say. Six of Swords. Yeah, what does this have to do with my collective? See, this person still needs to move on from somebody. Somebody that's taking advantage of them, using their weaknesses against them, making them false promises. Somebody that's that's a snake that's, that they can't trust. It could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag. Um, this, their connection with this person could have been more so lust or, you know, sexual at some point, or it was just passion, infatuation. Um, but I feel like this person's ready to move on from that situation because it says that, yeah, it's time. Once they make the decision to move on from something, it'll be time for this connection. Tell me more about what this means for my collective. The queen of swords. Ah, what about the queen of swords though? The, see, there's something here about you guys being... So you guys are starting to kind of match this person's energy. They've been trying to portray, act like they don't have feelings and emotions for you. They've been trying to act like they don't have these deep feelings and emotions for you. They've been trying to act cold and detached. And um, they've been thinking more logically, more head over heart when it comes to this connection with you. Um, I see that now you guys are kind of in that same energy with the Queen of Swords here. Where you guys are setting boundaries and you're more self-focused. That's probably why you're having all this success and all these good things coming in for you. Because you're pouring into yourself. You made a healthy choice to detach from this situation with this person that was probably not benefiting you. Um, or it was not reciprocal. Or was, you know, it just was not healthy. You're pouring into yourself and you have a lot of good things coming in for you. Um, but I do see like you guys are like in this independent setting boundaries. Kind of maybe cold or closed off type energy you see how this lady has this person in this picture has their sword down so you stop talking to this person some of you guys even block this person but it's kind of forcing this person if they want you if they want this with you or they want to come in and fight for you or even have a chance with you they're gonna to have to cut off these karmic ties or this karmic tie it doesn't have to be more than one but they have to cut off this karmic tie and they have to do the inner work if they want they have to get their life together that they have to clean up their life if they want to be with you but by you doing this yeah look it's definitely a, car, a person for a lot of you um, or it's some type of addiction or dark, like something like that's, it's a, it's a karmic connection. Somebody that's, it's somebody that they're codependent on or dependent on in some way. But you guys are setting these boundaries here. It's like this person is slowly making their way back towards you. But for right now, if, yeah, but it's, it may take a while. It says putting your life on hold, it's going to take a while. Yeah. But this is spirit saying, this is something that you are going to end up with. Yep. This is a person who was very lustful, they don't want to be that anymore. Yeah, it's like in time, we have that it's time, there is going to be some type of marriage or commitment here, like foundation that's built between you and this person. Anything else that they need to know from the tarot spirit? Anything else they need to know from the tarot? So yeah, wait, this person's trying to get you to kind of wait on them. Tell me about waiting. Yeah, unawakened. This person, see, didn't I say that they don't quite understand this yet? And it's because they're so, they're so 3D. They're so earthly. They're not very spiritual. They're, 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 they're too, they're too logical. Um, they can't understand this spiritual connection between the two of you. But it's like, while they've, they've been, they've been trying to decipher this. They've been trying to figure out what this is. Like, why do they feel this way about you? Why do they feel so dry? Like all these, like, whatever they're feeling for you, they don't understand it. All right. And I feel like while they've been trying to figure it out, they've been trying to keep you waiting. Yeah. Until, yeah, Emperor. Tell me about Emperor Aries Energy. Four of Pentacles. What about Four of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles. What's that do with my collective? The Sun. They're, they're not going to let you go, guys. I feel like this person is like actively trying to work on something or they're trying to figure it out. I just see them holding on to you. What does the Ten of Pentacles mean for my collective? Cold as ice, see? 
Ten of Pentacles and what's that mean for and cold as ice mean for my collective? The Two of Cups. I'm telling you, this person sees you as the one that they want to settle down with. They see long term with you, but they're not showing this to you. And it's like they send you mixed signals because they the way that they feel and what they show you is two different things. But they definitely feel this strong connection between the two of you. They it's very the feelings are very mutual. The feelings are mutual. The actions, the effort, the outwardly is not mutual. Okay, so. This person may be acting cold towards you and not showing you that they have any emotions and feelings for you, but this person's goal is to have a reunion with you, is to be able to come together with you. And they're not really telling you this. They're not really showing you this. All right, so let's see here. very focused on money at this time maybe that's what because they they're in some type of situation where they feel codependent or they feel dependent on somebody else so maybe they feel like they need to work on some type of financial stability to be able to free themselves from the situation let's see We have the journey. Yeah, this is something that's been taking a while or it's going to take a while. Or let's see here. This love journey may be long and challenging, but as so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Tell me more. We have grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. We have, yeah, unspoken love. They've been carrying, I told you, they literally felt this way about you the whole time. It says they've been carrying a torch for you all alone, but unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection. Yep. Right as I, I was literally just thinking in my head, I said, and the fear of rejection is stemming from something that they need to heal from. And right as I was thinking that we have healing, but Sphere says they're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance and the connection. So once they go through this healing process, which Sphere says that they're, they're at the end of the healing cycle, they're going to want to bring something back into balance with you. But you guys have definitely been through it with this person. It has not been easy with this person. It may not continue to be easy for a while. I don't know. We have at last. But Spirit said, yeah, they don't want you. I told you they want you to wait on them and said they don't want you to give up on this. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. But this, the problem is that this person needs to be more honest and open with you. Taming the beast. Yeah, you make them putty in your hands. They know their all conquering ways will not work with you. So this person knows you're not playing with them no more, okay? But you will not tolerate what you tolerated in the past. We have music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. We have gestures. So they're going to be making some type of gesture towards you to try to strengthen this connection. Like you, when you guys are separated, you guys are energetically connected, of course. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cord that is keeping you two connected. And I feel like that's what's really confusing about this person. Like, for example, like when they dated other people, they broke up with that person. They felt they felt like it was over. You know what I mean? With you, you guys break up. They still feel you. Like, they still feel your presence. They don't feel that they can let you go. They don't feel they can fully walk away. Um, yeah, this is definitely divine. I knew this card. I saw it in my head when I was shuffling. Um, yeah, we have divinely guided. It says you met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. What I'm getting from this is that this person's not going to be able to let you go. Okay. Like you guys are definitely, you know, you guys are twin. If this is your reading, your twin flames. And this person's going to start to realize that this is not going to go and that they can't let you go or they're not going to be able to. Yeah. It says they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. So what they have been confused about, they're going to end up having some tower moments that's going to make them gain clarity. But it says twin flame. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher, higher self wants union as much as you do. Yeah, they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. See, yeah, I told you. This is pretty much what I was just saying to you. It says when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. When they walk away from you or you walk away from them or you guys go your separate ways or whatever, they still feel you. Like, it, it, it's it's hard. It's not, it's not easy for them to stay, like, to, it's not easy for them to stay away from you. It's not easy for them to be apart from you. And that is something I feel like they're not used to. But the problem with this person is that they've had a hard time coming to terms with things that they need to release and work on. Because it says they are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all that they know. This person is having a hard time coming to terms with the fact that they're toxic 
And the reason that they're toxic is because who they have around them and who they were raised by and their family and things like that, like the people that they're surrounded by, because it says that's all that they know. Because So if that's all that they know, that means that, that they've been surrounded by that their entire life. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but it says they're wishing well. There's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken a new life in them that has them lost in a field of possibilities. So it's like they're doing a lot of daydreaming about you and thinking about the, what could be between the two of you. But they are having this. They're they're starting to see now that they really they messed up. Like they they did they messed up. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, we are divine tree. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. What was what is that? What time? Give me one more card about divine truth. Yeah, whatever it is, it's it's, a, it's like a new perspective. Yeah, this person was extremely guarded, but they're awakening. They're starting to hold a new understanding of, of love in general and just starting to recognize what this connection means to them. They were having a hard time also. They knew they were very sexually attracted to you, but they didn't know if it was more than that. They find you very attractive and beautiful. And yeah, that's why they were like, I don't know if this is just sexual or if this is something deeper than that, but they're getting clarity on that. I definitely feel like you also intimidated this person. They kind of put you on a pedestal. Or they do, not even kind of, they do. But this person is very guarded, like a very, very emotionally unavailable, but that's changing. Yeah, they've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you. Yeah, by their own sabotage behaviors, like I just said. They're starting to realize that they messed up, that they had something good here with you. There was something significant between the two of you and they sabotaged it. Because they were emotionally unavailable and they were afraid of getting hurt, they sabotaged. They, they didn't have any reason to even feel that way about you, that you would hurt them or do them dirty. It was because they hadn't healed from things that they went through in the past. And that's all that they were used to. But yeah, it says you can expect some kind of um, gesture to help strengthen your connection and give them a chance to prove themselves. Give me one more card on gesture. Yeah, missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they get too late to fix things. Yeah, this person cannot stay away from you. Yeah, missing you. We have insatiable. They have, and it's like only you can, can, Feel this for them Th that they know that they can't replace you i don't know what is making this person realize this but they're realizing that this craving that they have nobody else can fulfill this for them but you you're the only person that can you know scratch their itch or whatever the hell i'm trying to say but it says they have an insatiable thirst a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy craving you more and more so they're realizing that you're the only one that's going to be able to fulfill them or bring them the fulfillment that they want yeah, but it's like they also know that you're not playing with them anymore, like I already said. So it says, game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted behavior. So they want you. But if they want you, they're going to have to come correct. And they know this now. So they know. It says they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Yet look at this. Old wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Yeah. So I do feel like they're they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about you at this time. And they're thinking about how to approach you. And, you know, they're still trying to, you're, they're contemplating this connection and still trying to figure it out. And I just feel like they're starting to feel like what they need to do. See, something is, I didn't even notice that these cards were over here. They were separate from the deck. I didn't pick up the whole deck, apparently. But see, something is ending here. A karmic connection is ending here. Yeah, they enter your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. Part in your story is over. Yeah, it's like somebody was holding on to a karmic connection that was only meant to be temporary. And it says brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. So something is give me one more card on that. Tell me about endings and brewing up. Endings and brewing up, spirit. Slipped away. See? What about that? We have gossip. They were listening to the wrong people. I'm telling you, they have people around them. Yeah. They knew from the moment that they met you that this was special, but they were letting other people get in their ear or they were just, yeah, the guy, but things are shifting in your favor here. One more. Yeah. Didn't I just say that? On a pedestal. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. So you, you hold this person's heart, but... There's something else that they need to let go of that was only supposed to be temporary. What else do they need to know, Spirit, about the situation? And then I'm taking this over to the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel.
to get access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below. We have prop C, proper offering. So yeah, receiving an offer, a gift or contribution, wanting to have something to offer. Tell me more. We have creeping doubt. See, this person is still not sure if they want to come in and give you this full-blown commitment, if they want to give you a full-blown investment by give you this proper offering. Yeah, hesitations. Or you guys are going to be skeptical about this. Tell me more about creeping doubt before I say what I was going to say. See, no, this is this person. Some of you guys might be skeptical when this person comes with the, in with this offer, but it's more so this person still is not has not decided that they want to give you like a full-blown commitment. They're still like, they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. They have these feelings and emotions for you, but they're not telling you. Yes, yeah, so they're just watching you and not telling you how they really feel. All right, but it's, they're still, why are they skeptical? Why are they still hesitating? It's, they see you, it's something, they feel, they feel very intimidated by you guys. I told you, you guys have a lot of good things going for you. They view you as very radiant and successful and confident and like, you're, 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 you're having your wishes fulfilled. So why is that making them feel skeptical? What? They feel like... Say more about Explore the Waters. The battlefield. Fights, arguments, disagreements not on the same page. What? Why is this person... Tell me more. Yeah, all, truth and clarity that what? What are they getting clarity about? There's on a pedestal again. Great admiration. Or maybe they're realizing that they were putting somebody on a pedestal. What? Clarify radiant sun. Cut off abruptly. Lack of closure. Feeling rejected. What's that do with my collective? Follow the signs and... Follow the signs and the return. See, somebody did something. Why? But why does that have to do with radiant sun, though? Lack of action, procrastination, reluctance to make an effort. Why? They wanted to keep. Why are they trying to keep things casual? See, favorable, joyful trans recognition. What about that? Taking action, forward movement, willing to do the work. Why? Why is that changing now? Stuck? Is it because you've gone cold on them? I'm telling you, you went cold on them. I don't know, guys. I'm seeing a lot of different messages here. You're, yeah, you're setting an example. Look at this. Yeah, setting strong boundaries, the light of their lives, setting an example. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, look at this. Worth the fight, though. Not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for your love. Yeah, they're empress. They're queen bee. Wow, look at this. Yeah, so somebody feels like you could have went cold on them. But something happened. I don't know if this person thought that they could find somebody better. For some of you, it's because they feel like you're gonna maybe end up finding somebody better than them. Like you're you're so you're so attractive. They feel that makes them insecure and make it intimidates them, and they feel like you could find somebody better. Or just know this person's not gonna give up on you easily. If you feel like they're done with you, that's not the case. This person's gonna end up trying to fight for you, and I don't see them giving up. All right, but what is the battlefield? What's the fighting and the arguments and disagreements? Ooh, so guys, we have a solar eclipse on Sunday. Or not Sunday, Saturday, I believe. The 14th of October. I keep talking about this. I've been talking about this for weeks. Something is happening here. Something is happening in regards to, because it says solar eclipse, unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. Heavy on the change of heart. Because of truth and clarity, perspective. Yeah, fighting, arguments. What about, tell me more, solar eclipse and the battlefield? The final dance, last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. Somebody's about to, something is changing after this solar eclipse, guys. This person's about to come in and start trying to fight for you. They're having a change of heart. What are they seeing now? What are they seeing now? It, they're getting assistance from the divine. They're, they're kind of maybe seeing that you could help them in some, what are they seeing here? Yeah, battle wounds. Ongoing battle, weary, guarded, hurt, and past relationships. So what does that have to do with you and what they're realizing because of the solar eclipse? Yeah, they're viewing you as a gateway. They feel like, yeah, strong urge. To, they're going to feel like they want to speak up around this and say what? 
Ooh, though, obscene. The devil's domain, though. What about the devil's domain? Yeah, one of a kind, hard to replace. Yeah, they, I told you, this person's realizing that you're irreplaceable and that being with you is kind of like a gateway to something here. They're also seeing that something that they were idealizing or, yeah, that they were not wanting to see something here, that, that it was toxic and that it was wrong. They're seeing it now, though. The, the circus. Okay, so again, tell me more about what they can expect to happen around the solar eclipse. Yep, some type of new energy. Refreshing new energy, interesting and stimulating, puzzling, different from the usual type. Okay, what about that? Yeah, studying you, learning to love, getting to know each other. They're going to be, you're going to see this person coming towards you in a different energy. Tell me more. They're going to want to get to know you better. Strong to gold. Yeah, reviving. Yeah, they're going to want to try to revive this. Creating something out of nothing because, yeah, it feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone. What does that do with my collective? Yep, yeah, I'm telling you, they view you as like the key. Unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences, what was closed before is not open. Somebody's leaving their comfort zone. Yeah, that was full of burdens. Yeah, they were clinging to some type of unhealthy relationship, carrying old baggage, some type of responsibility that was no longer serving them. They were carrying a lot of baggage, but they're releasing that now. Yeah, deep wisdom. Read between the lines, be wise and pay attention. You can see they're seeing the truth clearly, heavily. Yeah, they were indecisive because the, it's somebody that they had a past, like somebody from their past, an ex or something like that. But the Grim Reaper, that's coming to a fight. Maybe that's what's happening around the, um, they're realizing that they can't find another you, that you're irreplaceable. They can't find you in anybody else. They're cutting that other person off. It says cutting something off, sewing off, clearing away the old breakup divorce and embracing a new connection with you. Yeah. But why is the grasp of greed here? They were holding on to that situation because of money. What, what else does my collective need to know? Yeah, give it some thought. Yeah, you guys are going to, when this person comes in, you're in this more logical energy now, like this person was. So it says, don't let emotions control you. Think logically and rationally. Give it some thought. Yeah, all-consuming worries, breaking point, lack of sleep. What's that do with my collector, though? Temptation. Somebody is just put, being pushed to their breaking point. They were, it's like they're being pushed to act on what they're feeling instead of, like, getting out of, they need, they're getting, they're being forced out of their head. It's kind of like, it's, they're reaching their breaking point. I don't know how else to put it. They're not even sleeping. They're, they're just stressed the fuck out, guys. And they feel like they, they're very tempted. They feel like they cannot stay away from you. So, yeah, we have manifesting dreams. Your power is activated. Everything is flowing easily. And we have epiphany. I'm telling you. Discover your realization. Sudden insight insight into reality. Dig deep within for answers. See, what is that about, though? What about heart of betrayal? Wishes granted. What's that doing heart of betrayal, though? Lady Venus. Okay. Time is running out. See, yeah, karmic ties. They had you in some type of love triangle, guys, but... What they truly desire is you, okay? And if you guys are manifesting this person, your manifestations are coming in. But somebody is feeling like, yeah, they're feeling very pressured. They're losing sleep. They're stressed because they feel like time is running out, that they need to take immediate action towards you. And it, they, this may be all coming to a head or a climax around this solar eclipse we're about to have. Um, yeah, they're realizing, yeah, forever yours, unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love to last a lifetime. This is not going anywhere. What about karmic ties? Some of you guys blocked this person. See, they're realizing that whatever this karmic tie was or this karmic relationship was is not for them. They were trying to fix something that they can't fix or that's like not for them or they thought something would get better or improve or they were trying to, they were trying to like, they were around a person or people that were very chaotic and toxic, but they were trying to think, they thought that they could stay in the environment and not let it affect them for whatever reason. But they're starting to realize that they were trying to make the best out of a bad situation and just they were trying to not let the negativity of that situation affect them. But no, like your environment is very important. So they're realizing that that's not where they're supposed to be. And what does that mean for my collective? Ooh, inner child healing. For some of you, it's their damn family. So what about the young? Deep wisdom. See, yeah, they're seeing the truth clear to the, yeah, the young, the deep wisdom. Many love, not ready to, what about that? Collector of hearts. Yeah, get going back to something. The past returns. Okay, what does it mean for my collective though? Pretty bright. Somebody's returning. Many love, somebody was like thinking that they couldn't settle down or something like that because why is um Collector of Hearts here? 
unfoldment, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming. Connect. Somebody's connecting with their higher self. And if they needed multiple people, yeah, external factors, others affecting the outcome, listening to other people's opinions. What is this collector of hearts, though? What does collector of hearts mean for my collective? Fantasizing, wishful thinking, that what? See, planetary influences. What about that? Left out in the cold, scarcity mindset, ready to give up. A mi so what's happening with this person? The right, they're going to do something. They're breaking free from some type of family construct or the way they were raised or some type of like belief system. Like they're breaking free from something that was keeping them from like, full, like settling down and committing. And they're breaking free from that now. And thinking about they're going to choose you. Yeah, commitment, wedding, marriage. Okay, commitment, wedding, marriage. Okay, commitment, wedding.